Welcome to the Joomla Ecstasy Joomla Event Manager Wall Administration video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Joomla Event Manager Wall. So first, you're going to need to go ahead and go to Extensions, go to the Extension Manager, and install the extension. Then you can go to your Module Manager, and you can open up the module. And here are our basic settings. Here's the settings for the selection parameters. You've got your categories to use, the venues to use, which states to include, which cities, and which events. Then you have your start date to start at and how many days you want to show up in the module. And this is set for 30 as default. You have your avatar compatibility mode. This will be compatible with Community Builder, Jam Social, Kunena, Commento, and we're adding new avatar compatibility all the time. And here you have your order. So you can select from older to newer or newer to older. Here's your grid display parameters, how many columns you want to show of events, how many rows of events, and how many pages. If you select more than one page, then it is going to give you um, a slideshow feature or a fader feature or whatever you select right here in your display style for the transitions. You've got a horizontal, a vertical, a fader, a draggable window, and a zoomable window. The settings here for the window width and window height only work when you're using draggable or zoom windows. Then you have your transition pause and you have your transition duration. Right now if it's set for four and it's set for a fader, it's going to fade through the images for pages. If you're going to be using buttons to control the fading, you might want to go ahead and set the transition pause to a negative one and this will make it so where it actually doesn't change the slide until you click the button. And here are your button styles. And if we click here to select, we've loaded it up with a lot of really nice buttons. And so I'm sure if you're using buttons, you'll find something right here for just about any design. And then we move into the actual layout area and so we have here as default just a main area and event but right now this is selected for the slideshow example so when you go look at our demos and you see the slideshow example this is what it's actually going to be pulling up we've loaded this module up with tons of demos here so you can use this any of the demos right from here just by selecting it and it'll look just like our demo so let's go to grid example one and then it'll look just like the demo but let's say you want to go ahead and you want to make some modifications to that layout. You can just select edit here and everything is dropped right into these areas. And so we can look, it's very easy markup. We just have a div class, our ahref with our event URL. That's a URL to go to the event. We have our image, the event image URL in an IMG SRC. So that goes ahead and displays the image. Then we have a wrap here, and then we have the H3 for the event title. We have a P class for the venue. Here's our event start date, our event description, our article button, and here is the language tag. We've added a language tag, and that's just going to put the regular read more in there. So it's going to put it in whatever default language you have selected. If you'd like to change that from read more to something else, you can just go ahead and type your own text in there. One additional thing I'd like to show you here is, as well as the markup, we have our CSS right here. So this is all of the CSS that's going on in it. Now we'll go back to the module. And once we save this, this is going to be set to none again. And then you can go ahead and select any other one, and it'll load it right in there for you. Here's the max displayed length of the event description. So for our event description, we only want to show a maximum of 180 characters. This works only for the event description. If you're using a venue description or maybe a category description, here's how you're going to do that. If we have this as our venue description, then we're going to say we want it to be 180, 180. You can put it right in the markup there. This does also work in the event description. You can override this down here with just right up there as event description. 
But instead of having a, a bunch of different fields here to do that, it's just easier to do it in the markup. Here's your date format for the PHP date function, the hour format. This is the no events found text. This is the avatar width and height. And this is the more area. If you want to have a more area, as you see, we have the main area here. This is the HTML template for the main area. We just put a more template, more area right there. And now we have our more area. And this is where you'd put your markup for the more area. You can have more items. Let's say we want to have six. You can say, I want to clone it from the main. So that means that what's the main area is just going to show the same events in the more area. Then you have your columns. So, okay, let's say we have four columns. And then you've got your more legend and your more legend color. Now the menu assignment works just like a core Joomla module. Same with module permissions. And the advanced, we took a look at this before. This is where the CSS is. For all the JavaScript effects, such as the pop-up settings and the slide effect settings and the hover color change settings, you can look at our documentation and that outlines how those all work. And here in the module settings, we have ref refresh on click. The wall will refresh on a mouse click. We have our alternative layouts. This is somewhat important at this point. If you're using a bootstrap template, it's probably best to set it for bootstrap. If you want to get rid of the gutters between the items that bootstrap automatically does, you just want to set it to float. If you just want to use tables, then just go ahead and use the default. But in most cases nowadays, bootstrap is included with Joomla and your template should probably be including bootstrap. So you should probably go with the bootstrap layout. And then the rest here is all inherent in the Joomla modules, and you can learn more about that at joomla.org. I hope this video was informative, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.